Hello everyone. Welcome to Physio Tattva. I am Dr. Vinay. And I am Dr. Shweta. Today we will be discussing some things about fibromyalgia. It's a condition that is more commonly seen in women and the presenting symptoms are wide, chronic widespread pain and a sensitivity to pressure. Pain is elicited even at 50% of pressure when is applied to the patient's skin. Patients would have multiple triggers, tightness or taut bands in the muscles. The other factors that could aggravate or accompany fibromyalgia are psychological stress, uh, post-traumatic stress and all of which could add on to depression, lack of sleep and even impair memories. Combination of all of these would significantly influence a person's quality of life and greatly diminish their ADLs, that is the activities of daily living. Now, how does physiotherapy help in fibromyalgia? In fibromyalgia, very important aspect here would be counselling. Why counselling? The patient's pain perception increases with touch, with every single joint movement. Today there is a joint pain, tomorrow that, might, that joint might not be the painful concern. So there are multiple pain pressure points that could be triggered on and off. So physiotherapy in this case, here at Physio Tattva, we start off with basic counselling so that the patient is well versed with the idea of generalized strengthening. He understands, she understands her pain concept and then goes ahead with the treatment protocols. Swimming, yoga, recreational activities, doing something that keeps them smiling and happy is one of the very important and major components of healing here. Otherwise, in exercises, we focus mostly on the strengthening of general body. It doesn't actually get into individual points. It is for a complete body strengthening program that has to be done. It is not a very understood or a prevalent concept of fibromyalgia. By the end of the diagnosis, it takes time. And the treatment here also prolongs for a little longer. We explain in counseling for the patients about the time.